Hey there, welcome to another video of your Facebook marketing ads or your Facebook ad marketing course. Um, <clears throat> we are starting a new section uh, today, right? We are looking more at um, drag considerations, right? What moved people to actually um, take the act an actions or we're going to be discussing a little bit more in this section about different things, components that will um, uh, create that effect to people to take actions, right? So far, we been, we, we already cover uh, how to create a Facebook page, uh, how to create a Facebook ads, introduction to ads manager, how to edit and manage ads, targeting, uh, etc. So let's go ahead and get started. How to drive actions online and in stores. Don't worry about the app part because not, that's not what um, I I don't have any experience on that. And we um, are assuming that this audience, it's not, um, uh, this audience don't have, um, uh, or, or we're just focusing on audience that are looking to drive actions online or in a brick and mortar store. So let's see a little bit of what um, we got to learn on this course. What does it say over here? No, never mind. Let's skip that. All right. So as you plan your Facebook campaign, start by asking yourself a few questions. What are, what are my goals with that Facebook campaign that I want to start running, right? Match your goal to, or to the uh, uh, ad objective. If your business goal is to acquire new customers, then you more likely may want to be using um, lead generation ad objectives or conversion objectives, right? If you want to increase fruit traffic and in store sales, you can use store visits objective. Who is my audience? So that's the other question that we may need to ask ourselves, right? To figure out what, uh, what is our plan? So determine whether you add to all target people within one of your existing audiences, for example, current customers or a totally new audience, such as people similar to your best customers or people that have never seen you before, etc. So you can deliver the right content to the right groups, right? So a good example and this could be you are you may want to send an ad um uh uh, with more details about what a product services can do um, to brand new audience compared to sending uh, just, uh, let's say, um, information of what uh, a special deal you may have coming up on a special on a specific product that your audience that already purchased for you may be aware of, right? Or what enhancement or features are coming up on a product that your uh, existing audience that purchased from you already may be aware of, right? You would treat that differently because obviously new audience that you may be targeting to enhancement to a product that only your customers will know about will not have the same effect as your customers that already purchased from you, their fans of your product, they may be excited about that new feature enhancement compared to running ads to a cold audience that doesn't know you, right? A cold audience that doesn't know you is basically it will need that it will need to get to know you. It will need to get to know your service or product in order for them to understand, okay, what are the, gonna be the benefits of the enhancements coming out? How will I measure and track results? So identify your performance key indicators, right? Or the metrics that are important to your business or metrics that move the needle, so to speak, right? So for example, you can choose to measure the number of people who made a purchase on your website or the dollar amount of total purchases as a result of your ad. So you gotta figure that for your business. What are those key performance indicators that I wanna achieve with my advertising? Because otherwise, what is, you know, obviously when we're learning, when we're first starting, the main purpose is to uh, learn, but at the same time, know 
be aware that if you're just starting, that obviously you're not going to put all your life savings or a big chunk of money on a specific campaign where you don't know what you're doing, right? You're still in the learning process, okay? So know how to measure your key performance indicators once you get to a level where, okay, uh, I have funding coming in and I'm going to run with this campaign uh, as much as possible. So let's keep the Facebook pixel and SDK. We already covered that on a, another video. Uh, assets. Let's go ahead and continue moving forward with overview of ad buying types. The ad buying types you choose is how you'll pay for and target your ad. How you pay for and target your ads. So Facebook offers three options, right? Auctions, reach, and frequency. TRP, we're not going to cover that. Uh, reach and frequency is used for, for brand advertisers, but for businesses like you who are focused on driving actions, we won't go over uh, reach and frequency in this course, okay? <coughs> so, reach and frequency are useful, is useful for brand advertisers, but for businesses like you who are focused on driving actions, we won't cover that. All right, so we're just going to stick to uh, other... Um, other uh, uh, buying options, right? Which is going to be something like auction, for example. So auction. The Facebook ad auction tries to balance two things. Number one, it creates value for advertisers by helping them reach and get results from the uh, results from people in their target audience, right? So <clears throat> a lot of people, when they start, um, we don't understand, right, that Facebook is trying to do the best to develop the technology so that to pro they provide us the best results for the money that we paid. Otherwise, a lot of people will be leaving the platform, and yet the sales for advertising, they just keep increasing and increasing, right? So they are definitely in the best interest to serve the, the ads and to build the ad platform to actually help the advertiser create value for you. A lot of times it's just basically that we don't know how to use it effectively to actually take advantage of it, right? So, and then we may get pissed off and be like, oh, Facebook doesn't work for me. Or Facebook just ripped me off, stole my, took my money, I didn't get nothing in return. So, the number one Facebook ad auction tries to balance the number one, create value for, for us as advertising by helping us reach and get results from people in on our target audience. And then number two, it provides uh, positive rele relevant experiences for people using Facebook, Instagram, and, or audience. So when you do an auction, right, either be manual or, or, or automatic, when you throw your ad out there and say, okay, I want to spend $20 a day, you can set to automatically have Facebook bid for you. You know, either if it's going to cut, if either... If, Facebook's going to bid you a $1 a click or $2 a click, but that's going to depend on a lot of things, right? Um, is, is, it, is, it, is it worth it for you to go in and Facebook put the ad in front of the people, the person, even though the click may be a higher cost, but that person truly fits a match of what you're trying to do or past customers. And so even though it's a higher cost per click, we're going to go put it there. And then second... <laughs> Is the ad uh, resonate gonna gonna resonate with that uh, user, right? Is the ad contain does the ad contains any images or text that may uh, cause the user to um, have a bad experience? Does causing that user to just basically get mad and, and leave the Facebook platform for you know, stop looking at this Facebook platform for the moment. So Facebook take in consideration all those factors that I just mentioned in order to know if it, they should be, when to bid for your ad and how much to bid for it, right? If they're doing an automatic way. So the best way for us to do this is to hold an action in which both interests are representative, right? Because it is for the best interest of most people to have these factors that Facebook take in place because otherwise, the people with more money or the companies with more money will be the ones that the ads will be showing up all the time. But it doesn't work that way because 
Facebook also takes into, into consideration um, what is the experience that the ad is providing to the user, right? So you can have all the money, money in the world, but if that your ad is bad, uh, it's creating a bad experience for user, they're not just gonna, they're not gonna show your ad, it's, they, they're gonna continue using your money or they might stop running your ad um, <clears throat> because of that reason, right? They also care, care about the, the, the user experience. Uh, so the best way for us to do this is to hold an auction. Uh, that way, advertisers reach people perceptive to their ads and users see something they are interested in. This is different than a traditional auction because the winner is in the ad with the highest monetary bid, which we were just talking about it. But the ad that creates the most overall value for you, the advertising, and for me as a user, for example. The ad that wins an auction gets shown is the one with the highest total value, okay? So go, Facebook goes and calculate different things and based on the money that you're trying to bid, but at the same time, based on how much value it provides to that user experience, it's gonna give it a higher ranking and, and even though you're not bidding as much as other advertising, for example, it will go off on top of that and, and, and show your ad instead of that other advertiser, okay? The ad that wins an auction gets shown is the one with the highest total value. The total value is in how much an advertising is willing to pay us to show their ad is a combination of the following three factors. So we have the factors over here, advertiser bid, meaning how much money you're willing to pay, times estimated action rates, plus user value equals total value. That's the formula that Facebook it's gonna show, show it's showing out there that they use in order to um, their algorithm, Facebook algorithm, the algorithm or calculations understand who should be put into it, who, which ad should be shown into the um, to that user. Because you gotta think about this: there's so many ads competing, you know, um, for ad space, right? Facebook has such a limited amount of ad space because otherwise it will create such a horrible bad experience that users would just leave um, and so because of that reason uh, Facebook has to use Facebook is uh, takes this formula to understand okay you know we can show uh, to this user Leo and add every every specific number of scroll or every every specific every amount of time but we only have uh, a few seconds to show one of this three ads that I may have, right? So, okay, with over, out of the three ads that I line up for take up, let's say, or to be shown, uh, which one creates the most total value? Okay, this one on the right? Okay, let's go ahead and show that one. So that's, just to give you a quick idea. So advertising bid, either a manual or automatic, right? How much you are willing to pay. Uh, you set that amount a specifically manual way or an automated way where you let Facebook determine what that amount would be. Estimated action rate, right? Likelihood of driving a desired outcome. Uh, and user value, website, which take into consideration a website, right? Is the website create a good experience or a bad experience? Performance, right? How does the performance of your ad doing? Are they getting a lot of likes or not? The ad quality, right? The relevance of your ad to your audience. So are you, for example, showing, um, an ad that talks about moms when you are targeting uh, dads, okay? That's basically uh, an ad relevancy. Or are you showing um, woman interior clothing to, to males, right? Uh, so that's definitely not a good relevant. It would be relevant to me. <clears throat> when an action occurs, we standardize the factors above to account for different optimizations goals, then combine them into a total value. The ad with the highest total value wins and gets shown. What does this mean? An ad that, that's high quality and very relevant can beat an ad that has a higher advertising bid that is paying more, but the quality is low and has relevance, okay? Or it and has re less relevance. So. Even though I have a lot of money here on this side, but my ad quality is low and the relevance is low, even though I'm not 
uh, paying as much because but because I'm smarting, I, I'm smarter. I know what my audience wants. I know what Facebook rules are and what they want. I'm gonna beat this one that has a lot of money all the time. Okay. Um, to get the most out of advertising on Facebook, you should strive to maximize all factors. Be the maximum you're willing to pay or let Facebook do it. Create compelling ads, right, that moves people into action. Target them to the right audience, okay? So if you're gonna be advertising per sale, uh, pair of shoes, high heels, then probably may wanna put that into young ladies, right? This allows us to show your ad more, which allows us to learn more about your ad and its audience, which leads to more efficient and effective delivery. Set the right bid. If you choose to use this, the, to use the action, you'll see there are two options for setting your bid, automatic or manual. Determine the right budget to ensure smooth delivery. Your daily budget for each ad set should be greater than your bid. Okay, so for example, <clears throat> You're not gonna be putting um, a ten dollar daily budget and then bid twenty dollars, right? Uh, Facebook will will let you know that uh, your math is not correct. If you're not getting the volume of results you want, try increasing your bid. A larger budget will let Facebook explore audiences more aggressively than smaller budgets. Rather than splitting your total budget across too many ad sets targeting the same audience, we recommend consolidating to have one ad set per target audience. Okay, so that's just basically Facebook uh, recommendations there. Tips for the action, bid strategies are best, are cost control tools. Okay, they help control, so we don't want to cover any of that. Cost conversion optimization. When using conversion optimizations, optimizing your ad delivery specifically for the outcome you care about. So let's stop there real quick. You may be asking, okay, Leo, what's all that that you were talking about? Where where do I see that? Um, and that's basically you something you'll see at the at the ad set level. Okay. Let me just show you here real quick. I'm doing branding ads on this one. And if you go all the way to the bottom is where you'll see a lot of the stuff that we, so not, not in this one, ad recall lift, no, not a good example. Let's see for remarketing reach. Let's see about that. Remarketing reach. If we go all the way to the bottom, you see that um, we can set different optimizations. We can set a frequency cap. We can set a bid strategy, set a bid cap. Okay, how much you're willing to pay per 1,000 impressions. Um, this is on the reach ads. And um, then other objectives may seem different things or may have different things. So for example, if you use conversion ads you may have, or, or, or traffic ads, you may see a conversion optimization. Optimization ad delivers specifically for the outcomes you care about. Your ad sets budget should be many times greater than your bid. And we mentioned that before. Keep in mind that our conversion optimization model is not built to ensure delivery nor to spend your full budget. Instead, it gives you the most conversions at the lowest cost for a given budget. We'll try to deliver impressions to people who we predict are likely to convert for less than or equal to your bid. <clears throat> so that just Facebook give you a quick explanation there of how um, they use your budget Right and how they bid uh, for your based on your budget to be sh to show your ad. This means that for a campaign that is consistently delivering, your average cost is usually less than your bid. Especially if you have a a great ad that is being very receptive by your audience, um, the cost of the ad to for whatever action you determine you wanted to 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 be to achieve that goal um, way be, may be way less than the bid that you try to set up there okay uh, TRP we're not gonna do that <clears throat> choosing the right objective we already talked a little bit about objectives so marketing funnel remember how we asked that you determine what your business goals are during your campaign planning 
Now it's time to map those goals back to our ad objectives. So for example, if your goal is to grow your business, you should focus on demand generation, okay? On generating lead. If your business goal is prof profitability, prof profitability, you should focus on acquisition and transactions, meaning, you know, have focus on getting customers to pay or buy from you. We won't cover awareness of in this course, so we can focus, okay? Uh, so they can focus on driving. So these are some of the different type of strategies that you can use, right? You're trying to increase awareness. Are you trying to uh, generate leads? Are you trying to acquire new customers or uh, get new transactions? Add objectives. Here are the recommended objectives based on each part of the funnel. Take note of that objectives marked with an asterisk are available through both the action and reach frequency. The remaining objectives are only available through the action. Okay, so for example, each reach objectives are the ones that I use, for example, for this restaurant, right? Um, some of the stuff may not be available in that, that they're gonna go over here because they're actually just available through the action objectives. Okay, so demand generation. If your goal is demand generation, you should use the following objectives, traffics or video views. Then you have a customer acquisition. If your goal is customer acquisition, meaning you want to you look into acquire new customers, you should use the following objective, which is lead generations, conversions. There's no focus on app installation because we don't do any of those over here. So when you go first starting, you go to create, and you can see traffic over here. Um, lead generation conversions are what they're suggesting. Demand generation, traffic and video views, right? We saw that on their consideration, traffic, video views, uh, video views right here. And then you see here transactions. If your goal is to increase transactions, you should use the following objectives, which is conversions, uh, we're not gonna go into these ones and then store visits. We don't let's not go over that one as well because this does it, there's a little bit more of advanced configuration there, um, especially for um, companies that have multiple locations. So, next, let's talk a little bit about targeting the right audience. And we are actually already cover a big section uh, about targeting, so we're not gonna spend too much time here. Let's like just um, go review real quick, right? Think about the goal that you set for your business and the people you need to reach to help you meet the goal. Do you want new customers or do you want them um, to remarket to customers you have now? Um, then ask yourself the following questions, right? Who are the people in my target audience, right? Are you gonna be, are your products and services gonna be helping a specific age group, a specific gender, or a specific people, group of people that live in a specific area, right? Who are the people in my target audience. How do I segment my audience, right? What type of data and insight do I have about them? All right, so what things do they like? What, uh, what sort of income do they have? What are my key focus markets right now and in the future? Who manage my CRM database? How do I use my database for marketing purposes today? What offline data do I use for targeting any other campaigns? Offline data is not something that I've done, right? There's so many uh, other stuff that can be done there, but it's not something that I don't so we're not going to cover any of that So this question should help determine what audiences you want to reach and you can reach those people who matter the most To your business by using the following targeting options. We already talked about core audiences, right? Core audiences are whatever is built within Facebook, right? Like the um, locations, age group, gender, languages, interests, behaviors, etc. Now custom audiences are whatever audience you uh, build within the audience section, either be customers that you upload uh, to a list or uh, audiences that you build based on uh, specific actions that people will do on your Facebook page or your website, um, etc. Okay, we already covered that, so you can go back and watch the targeting audience um, if you would like a recap of custom audiences and lookalike audiences. Okay. 
relevance score. Um, the only thing I'm going to say about relevance score is that you may want to keep an eye on this. What it means relevance score is how relevant the ad is for me. And so if this Facebook is has this low score, um, you may want to stop it. I'm talking about low score under three. I, I'm not sure if it says anything in here. Negative feedback. This means you add uh, recommend adjusting your targeting so that so I don't see anything here about a specific number of relevant score. It goes from one to ten, ten being the highest. Don't use this as that um, key performance indicator. Don't use it as a key performance indicator or something that you know you're gonna be excited about just because um, it's not what it's gonna get you the most sales, right? But definitely if in a if if it's in the negative um, number or if it's a low number then it does affect your negative and so do you want to you do want to keep a close eyes on that because that means that people are giving negative impact or feedback on that uh, ad and so you don't want to get your ad shut down or your ad account um, shut down so the only thing I'm gonna say about the relevant score is keep an eye at close eyes make sure it doesn't go um, low too low Select placement, placements, formats, and creative. So placement, uh, we'll be covering somewhat. Uh, let's see over here. When you see a video ad in your Facebook news feed, you are seeing an ad's placement. So it's a Facebook news feed, right? Makes sense. And format, for example, a video. Is it a video? Is it a picture? Or is it just text, right? Placements are where your ads will appear and formats are how your ads will appear. Okay, so... Placements are where your ads will appear. So, for example, is my ad going to appear in my newsfeed? Or is my ad going to appear or show on um, the right desktop, I think it's called? Or are they going to show in the marketplace or people watching videos, um, etc.? So, that's placement. And the format is okay, this ad over here, it was a picture, while another ad may be an, a video. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Which um right here. I had that an ad that is a video. Alright. Um so that's the format. Creative is the type of media you will see you use in your ad like a specific video, file, or image. What I would just say about that, let's see. So format how you how your ads will show. Um Let's see what it says over here. Placements. So there are a variety of placements available across your, the Facebook family of apps and services. Um, you have feed, Instagram feed, audience network, messengers, inbox, sponsor, uh, instant articles, in streams, video, right column. You can see when you're um, doing your ads, you can read a little bit about them. Um, when you're going through the process of building your ad okay so for example let's go to the ad set now depending on the objective not everything is going to be available and depending on the format as well if you live in an automatic way facebook is going to go ahead and and pick for you based on what uh, objective you're doing and based on the ad creative right if you're using a video a picture uh, etc if you edit the placement um, you can learn a little bit about uh, each when you know when you highlight over it and then go to the right side it tells you a little bit it tells you if you'll be available um, for a specific objective or not and then it tells you uh, what are some of the limitations what are some of the requirements for uh, in order for that ad placement to um, to show so that's placement Oh, my body is running low. I need to hurry then. Keep in mind that the placement available for your campaign depend on the objective you choose. This means not every campaign will be eligible for your placement, which we already talked about. We, this, you can see a little bit of the different placements, uh, formats, and creative, right? Um, that's something that comes up at the last part. So you have your campaign, you have your ad sets over here, you have your campaign your ad creative and here's where you get to choose what images to use what video what text you want to write 
headlines. So that's the creative. And this is an example here of what a single image will be. This is an example of carousel ad. It says two to 10 clickable images or video. Okay, uh, single video, slideshow, meaning you can put uh, some pictures together and it will create a slideshow, which is like a, uh, um, a video that will play automatically, but it's basically what it is in essence are pictures and sequences. Collections, okay. Measure campaign performance. We already tackled a section about performance. So let's not go over too much about that. Audience outcome helps you answer questions like how many people did your ads reach, how frequently. Brand outcomes helps you answer questions like did the ads break through, are they memorable? Sales outcome helps you answer questions like did the ads drive your business outcome, right? Increase your sales, 10x, 2x, 5x. That's something that you know based on the goal. Did they contribute to a return on investment, ROI? Did the ad results in sales, leads, ad, or app installations? Okay, sales outcome. Um, and that's basically all for today. Again, how to drive actions online in a store. Just to recap real quick, right? We were reviewing um, the different uh, placements, targeting uh, to try to, net, to match the goals that you have. Um, for your Facebook ad campaign and that's so that you can understand before you get started okay let's determine what plan goal I want want to achieve and see what are the best placement audience um, type of ad that we want to run so that it will help you achieve that goal and you just don't go blind okay so that's all for today I'll see you on the next video all right bye